Sometimes you just gotta take that second away, step back, zoom out a little bit and remember what the big picture is. Jason Cunliffe, 38 years old, uh, captain of the Matau, um, former U-17 national team head coach, um, born and raised, playing football here on the island, chasing the dream um, that every little kid has, wanting to be the best, wanting to play professionally, wanting to represent your country on the international stage. Uh, been around the world a few times, um, and everywhere I've gone, you know, it's always been, it's always been about bringing it back to Guam, um, doing what I can to, to represent, whether it's, uh, you know, in an individual level. Um, it's always been a big, big thing of mine. Uh, when, when someone asks me after we play a match or something, like, hey man, where are you from? You know, and that's that, always been that chip on my shoulder because I've always been representing our little island, right? We always say small population, big hearts, and I've carried that with me uh, everywhere. Yeah, I mean, growing up and, and representing Guam, it hasn't been easy. You know, I've definitely had a lot more, more losses than wins uh, when I'm wearing the Guam jersey, but I think those losses have taught me um, hundreds of valuable le life lessons. Um, and so that chip on my shoulder, you know, I know what we're capable of. I know, I know the potential, again, of the athletes here um, and the abilities uh, of our people. And I just want to show the world, you know, when we really reach that potential, you know, and we've seen, we've seen little bits of it. Um, we're scratching the surface, but we're not, we're not done yet. So, you know, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm back. That's why I've made Guam, um, you know, my home to raise my family. Mental health is a huge, huge topic uh, in the sports world right now. Um, myself being coming up from kind of the older generations where you, you had to have thick skin, right? Coaches were going to tell you how it was. A lot of that comes down to, to caring about the, the whole person, not just the athlete, uh, but the person in their entirety caring about their day in and day out, making sure um, that things at home are going okay. And if they're not going okay, that you're there um, to, to be a shoulder, uh, you know, should they need to cry on it or, or an ear um, to listen to any problems that they may have. You know, I think more coaches that tap into that, you know, of course, you're gonna have, um, you know, better results on, on the pitch or on the, on the court, whatever it may be on the field. Um, but I think our community is going to be better off for it. And that's, that's the greatest thing uh, we can do is how can we help these kids, um, these athletes lead successful lives, be good people and give back to the community um, so that we can all succeed.